Which continues for school bus drivers in Kingsport. The lack of drivers has been a problem in our region since the start of the school year. In Kingsport, the situation, though, is dire. News Channel 11's Katherine Simpson continues to navigate this issue. She joins us from our Kingsport Bureau with the latest on the search for drivers. Katherine? Yeah, Sarah, like you said, we've had issues across the region. Earlier this year, we reported on shortages in both Hawkins County and Washington County. And today, Kingsport City school leaders tell me that they're down 20% of their drivers. When you've got your director in a bus the vast majority of time, uh, I think that's just an indicator of everybody diving in to do what we can to solve the problem, but also kind of highlighting you know, what the issues are when it comes to how short we, how short staffs we are. Kingsport City Schools is currently short eight drivers out of the 38 total it needs to transport more than 3,000 students to school each day. Assistant Superintendent Andy True says with those positions sitting empty, families can feel the impact. Do you have any, you know, kids who are getting home later because... Right. Yeah, timing is a lot of it. Certainly when you've got drivers that are having to double up, uh, they're running one route and then they're going back and running another route. So it does affect timing. Much like other area districts, they've struggled to find interested candidates. Navigating through traffic, through residential streets, while at the same time maintaining order and creating a positive environment for, you know, 30 to 70 children behind you. So that it takes a unique personality to do that. Kingsport's starting rates begin at $18 an hour, which is about on par with Johnson City bus drivers. The district has also added a bonus system for new drivers. True said new drivers will receive a $1,500 sign on bonus paid in two installments after 30 and 90 days on the job and with the shortages so persistent experience isn't needed to apply. We will pay to train you. We, uh, we will put you through that training uh, and allow you to get that kind of training uh, so you don't have to have experience to come and work for us. True says that they are mostly hiring for full-time positions but that part-time positions are also available. Reporting live in Kingsport, I'm Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you. Katherine, thanks.